Hi there, so I received a few requests to explain in a little more detail my low-powered airlift pump design. So I made this presentation to do just that. <coughs> uh, what you're seeing is a cross-sectional view of the airlift pump I invented about a year ago. Uh, it turns out it's actually called the pneumatic injector pump, patented in 1973. Uh, you'll note that it's very similar to a geyser pump. The biggest difference being geyser pumps do not have this check valve at the bottom. Um, <clears throat> this ejector pump is comprised of five parts. Um, an enclosed chamber that can be pressurized. Um, a one-way valve to let liquid in. A hole to let, uh, let air in. Um, a spout for where the liquid will be purged out. And uh, an air siphon which allows uh, the pump to refill. So let me talk about how it works. Um, there are really two stages, uh, a purge stage and a refill stage. Um, starting with the purge stage, um, let's assume the chamber is completely full of water and to begin um, air is pumped into the chamber pressurizing it and as a result the one-way valve will be force closed and the liquid will have no place but to be ejected out of the spout. Um, the volume of air will continue to displace uh, all of the water inside the chamber and the amount of air that is pumped in is equivalent to the amount of water purged out. Um, next, uh, as the air travels down the chamber, um, or should I say as the liquid level drops, it'll reach uh, the bend in the air siphon. Um, at this point, the air will creep around the bend and siph the siphon will activate, sucking out all of the air in one big gush. Um, if you look at this closely, it's actually an automatic bell siphon flipped upside down. And instead of siphoning water downwards, uh, it siphons air upwards due to the buoyancy of air in the surrounding water. So as the air gushes out, um, the pressure in the chamber will decrease, uh, opening the one-way valve. Uh, this will let water in and the chamber will refill until it gets to the inlet of the air siphon. Uh, from At this point, it, it will flood the air siphon and plug it, uh, stopping the air siphoning effect. Uh, from this point, the air, uh, the pump will go back to stage one and purge the liquid, liquid uh, out again. And uh, it'll keep going through the cycle um, until the air is shut off. I'd like to show you the actual unit now that I built. Um, here it is. And let me show you the individual parts. Um, we have here is a Nalgene bottle. Um, I use these rubber grommets to interface the pipe uh, into it. Um, what we have here is the automatic siphon that will siphon the air out. Uh, this little 90 degree elbow I took from a shampoo bottle uh, dispenser and just heated it up and bent it here. Drilled the hole in the side of the pipe. Had this rubber grommet, um, so I just stuck it in there. Uh, this is a test tube that is concentric around this pipe here, creating uh, a bell siphon. And I zip tied it. Um, <clears throat> on here, uh, I have four air inlet ports. These are just um, one-way valves, so air can be pumped in and can't escape. Um, this is not really necessary. You can just use a tube um, because the air pump doesn't leak air. And this is the um, one-way valve that I built. Um, all it is is just a marble inside these uh, PVC unions. So that's the marble there. So it creates a seal there. And then uh, as the, the water will go in, it will lift up. And I put a uh, barbecue skewer through this pipe. And when I push it together, that prevents the marble from falling out. So that's it. Got the one-way valve, the auto siphon pipe and the chamber. So thanks so much for watching. Um, if you like my videos, please click like and subscribe.
And if you have any questions, uh, please write them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.